I really wish y'all could see how I have this camera set up right now. I hope as I'm driving, it works. And you guys can hear me good enough. But I'm not going to play music because I can't afford to be copyrighted when I'm just starting out right now. Oh my god, I'm in a car. Hey y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your favorite baby face doll, Lonnie, coming back at you with another video. Today we are in a car, and I'm doing Uber Eats. Uber Eats is pretty good, like, it's pretty decent, like, it's not, I, I can't complain. I wouldn't be doing this if it didn't work for me. As I'm driving, I'm just gonna be talking about a lot of random Wait stuff. Okay. <laughs> But as I'm driving, I'm just going to be talking about a whole bunch of random stuff and then obviously doing deliveries. I'm not going to... You're yelling? You're yelling? You're yelling? Calm down. Oh my God. Ah. How did I turn down? There we go. And we are ready. Let me not drive forward in. There's like little kids in my neighborhood and I love seeing kids play outside, but it's so freaking terrifying because I'm like, oh my God, please don't dart out in front of my car. I love kids with like all my freaking heart. I freaking love kids. I can't wait to have my own, but I definitely can wait. But one thing about it is I, I can't help but love kids. I like will never understand how people don't like kids. Like I love kids. Like, God, why? They're just so freaking precious. Like, ah. My favorite thing about working with kids is the fact that they're like, you know, young and, you know, this is like the time where their minds and stuff are very moldable. So the best thing for them is to make sure you're doing the best for them. You know what I mean? So, so when I'm in those positions of working with kids and teaching them things, I, I'm like so freaking in love with the fact that, oh my God. You don't know how to do this, and then you know, a couple days, weeks, or whatever, they know how to do it. Their development is freaking, it's freaking amazing. I freaking love it. Oh my god! Why would you stop right there? Ah! I'm scared. Okay. Oh my god. I still don't have no freaking delivery. I've been driving around, using up gas, and like. I'm usually doing so good and I'm like <laughs> Oh Here we go We're going to a ramen shop I'm not gonna lie after doing postmates my car smells like different type of freaking foods like and, and and you know we live in California so like people are vegan out here so vegan food smells so bad like I cannot stand the smell of vegan food oh that's why it's hitting I wish I could I wish I could see it. I actually enjoy doing postmates like I do like you know I sometimes encounter some interesting like interesting things interesting people and I actually want to like probably do a video about the weird things I've done and heard from doing Postmates, so it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty interesting. But I'm gonna close on my camera for right now because even though this is freaking OC, somebody can steal this. So I'll be right back. Okay, let me tell y'all. <laughs> it is so freaking funny being black sometimes because <laughs> I went to an Asian market, you know? An Asian market. I am the only black dot in there until I saw a black man with his family and it's like oh hey but it's just so freaking funny being black because anywhere you go anywhere you go and if there is not a lot of you there you're definitely gonna get stared at and it's so freaking funny the crazy thing is black people are so fascinated by Asian culture it's just so funny being in these type of situations and people are like oh my god what are you doing here and it's like <laughs> to get some ramen but it wasn't for me this time but you know you know how it is if you're black yeah it's just it's just it's just straight comedy sometimes i'm like <laughs> hello <laughs> yes i know you can't believe it can you <laughs> i'm here too <laughs> crazy thing is uh, how black people have like this huge love for anime like i i promise you there's a lot of a lot of us that really love anime and i know that i'm one of them 
them. But my dad introduced me to anime when I was like really, really young. The, obviously, one of the first ones is Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, all of them. And even like a class like Fist of the North Star, like my dad like what is an anime head. Like I used to watch Sailor Moon, all of them, all of them, all of them. I would never understand why black people love anime the way they do. Dragon Ball Z, like Piccolo to me is black, Frieza is definitely black, and Boo to me is black, but he's mixed. He's mixed. He's mixed. That's it. To me, that's that's how, how it is. Like Majin Buu is like definitely like a light skin. <laughs> He has light skin tendencies, but also a dark skin attitude. I like cartoons overall. I will watch a cartoon by myself and like thoroughly enjoy it. Especially in this day and age, there's more like representation of black people. So Craig of the Creek, I love him. Like he is as a black boy, a main character, and his parents are both black. He goes on adventures and it just shows a broader spectrum that black kids have different you know types of interests besides you know the the generic things and the stereotypes that people put us in um it just shows a variety of you know of imagination and, and the things that we like so i really enjoyed that little that little show i used to watch clarence too i used to watch uncle grandpa like that that I, would i tell you that that show used to actually freaking make me laugh. I don't know why, like, this dude's catchphrase was freaking good morning. Like, good morning what? Like, good morning who? Like, what? Like, oh my god. And Spongebob is definitely a classic. I can watch Spongebob any day, anytime. I love Spongebob, but I really hate the newer ones. And the animation makes my freaking skin, like, burn on the inside. I hate how they animate them now. Like, ugh. Like, don't draw them like that. Don't make them move like that. But yeah, cartoons will always have a special place in my heart. I hate these apartments. I can never find who the freaking food belongs to. And the freaking service, the reception over there is so trash. It better not be what I... I ah! So on my recent Uber Eats runs, I've been dropping people's drinks. And I feel so bad because it'd be like large, like big drinks. I feel so horrible. I'm like... I am dropping your drink, bro, because I, I don't know why. I can't hold it. And it's not on purpose. And, you know, I get my hands are, like, little. But, dude, like, it, it, I've been just dropping people drinks, and I feel so freaking bad. There were some good things about COVID. Like, six feet apart, yeah, don't be all up in my freaking area and my space. I can smell your breath. Two, um, when you're doing deliveries, like, for Uber Eats and Postmates and, like, whatever you, you decide to do it on, um, they have a feature where people want you to leave their food on their doorstep and I'm gonna tell you why I love that feature so much because I have social anxiety I don't really like to talk to people so I don't want to knock on your door and be like hey here's your food I'm just gonna shoot you a nice little text hey I've arrived and I'm gonna leave it on your doorstep because that's what you asked of me I love that feature so much I don't gotta see you you don't gotta see me we don't gotta talk to each other cool here's your food I'm and, and I'm out of there Hi. Yes, I uh, sorry, I had to do like a, a aggressive U-turn. <laughs> Enjoy your food. Thanks so much. <laughs> Make sure she's on the curb. Don't wanna hit your dog. And we're on to the next. Next we're doing Buffalo freaking Wild Wings. I actually don't like Buffalo Wild Wings. Don't get me wrong, I love food, but I don't even know what that was. Don't talk. I really wish YouTube wasn't so weird about copyright because I would be jamming out right now. You guys will see what an average day of car riding and driving is for me. I'd be jamming out. I'd be having a whole performance. And then it's funny because people people will see me and they're like, <laughs> they'll, they'll enjoy what, like, what I'm doing. And it's like, oh my God, this wasn't for you. It was for me. And I get like all awkward or some people will join in and it's like, no, this is a solo, not a duo or a trio. See your, say, see your way out. You know what I mean? But I try not to be selfish and high, uh, and, and withholding my joy with the world. I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> I got enough. Some days I have zero. Some days I only have 50%. But that's life. And I'm only human. Yo, you know what's really good, though? Like, for real good? Like, I mean, like, for real, for real good? Potatoes. I love anything, practically anything in potato form. I have yet to find something I don't like in potato form. And if you, if you can 
figure it out if you know me personally let me know but i can't find anything wrong with potato but i was carrying two deliveries and this little girl i was backing up on the door you know how you do when you got food you back up with your butt and she opened the door for me and i was like oh thank you sweetie and in the, in the distance as i walk into the car she's like she called me sweetie and i'm like oh my god I made her day. I love when people call me little cute nicknames too. Not in a non-creepy way, because I've encountered grown men who said some weird stuff to me, and they've added like a weird nickname, and it's like, I will never want to be called that again in my life. You have made me so uncomfortable. One thing about it is I have like a baby face. So like, I look younger than what I am. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's my whole shtick. That's my whole thing. But like, I've encountered men where they're like, oh, you know, you must be like 15, 16, you know? I'm like, nah, I'm 23. You're 23? And like, they will say that with like such disappointment. Like, they will actually be disappointed that I'm actually an adult. And I'm like, did you just get disappointed that I'm not a minor? You freaking weirdo. Why did this man decide to do a freaking U turn in the middle of the freaking street about to collide with me? Wild. I have this personality, this voice, this face, whatever where it doesn't look like I will get aggressive because I haven't had a lot of moments where I actually had to fight anybody. I have not, I have not. But I want to fight somebody so bad. I want to get violent so on so many occasions. I am a very violent person. After a while, if we're talking and it's not going nowhere, I want to hit you. There's nothing left to say. We're fighting and it never gets to that point. There are sometimes I've baited people into hitting me because I want them to hit me and they don't. Ugh, the crazy in my eyes has probably scared them off, but I definitely want to fight people. I don't know why. I'm very violent. I want to get mad and I want to hit. I want to fight all the time. Grown men, women, sometimes even a child, but I'm not gonna hit no child. I'm not. I'll be patient with a child before I be patient with an adult. Isn't that crazy? But yes, I have like this thing where I really, 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 really want to fight all the time. Like, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to get aggressive. I want to get mad. I want to get, I want to hit people. I feel so, like, ugh, you know? And, like, people don't take it seriously when they say that you won't, you won't. I will. I just don't have opportunities to do so. I will. And I will. And I want to. And I, I, I just can't. If my parents didn't teach me not to start fights, I think I would start fights with people. I would have slapped people, like, but I'm like, look, I don't want to get a whooping because <laughs> I'm. when you're younger, you got whoopings, yes. And now that I'm older, I don't want to hear all this unnecessary. Why would you do that? We don't start fights. I don't want to hear all that. So I, I respectfully bait you into hitting me so I have a reason to unleash this anger because I'm done talking. I don't want to do this back and forth. I don't like doing back and forth. If we're not going to be adults, I will communicate with you, but if we're not going to be adults and you're just like, we're just going to keep going back and forth because you like that stuff, I'm going to hit you. I, I'm going to want to fight. I don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this. I don't want to talk. Like, I want to be a clean channel because, like, I have family that watch this and I don't want to hear it. You should just say that, you know? <laughs> they don't sound like that, but you know. But also, like, you know, I, if kids watch my stuff, like, I want to be one of those YouTubers that are, like, at least appropriate to some degree. And they're like, oh my god, this chick is so freaking funny. Like, I definitely have dark humor, inappropriate humor, because, you know, obviously, don't, like, <laughs> it, it'd be funny, but obviously I'm not gonna be really just putting that in my video. I don't feel like that's necessary. There's a lot of other YouTubers that do that, so, like, they can have that. That's for them. For me, I'm gonna try to be clean to the best of my ability. I may react or laugh to some dark humor or, like, some crude jokes, but in the most part, I'm not making them, so it doesn't really matter the way my let me show you my setup real quick on the phone cam i'm gonna show you my setup this is my setup on the phone cam y'all this is what i have oh my god i'm passing this freaking bar where this dude hit on me while I was making a delivery he wanted me to drink with him and it was awkward <laughs> oh god High school and middle school is definitely weird. You've experienced some different, like, weird stuff, but when you're an adult, you just seem like you experience just more weirder things, but, like, people are, uh, grown. So it's, it's all just very interesting, you know? <laughs> I don't know. 
god. I always refer to California as the pretty girl that can't cook. Like, so pretty, but can't cook. Like, it, it's crazy out here, y'all. Like, it's freaking weird. Like, like people are like, I want to go to Cali. And I'd be like, are you sure about that? <laughs> like, the freaking John Cena meme. Like, are you sure? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love California. I do. But Tara, it's a little crazy. It's a little weird out here, if you know what I mean. I hate apartment complexes. I hate delivering to them because you... It, they're so freaking weird and I'm like I don't I don't get I don't get the setup here. Where what is the setup you guys are trying to achieve with this freaking weird complex setup? I can't stand it. I hate it. I freaking do. I do. Like why is letter M building next to letter R building? It makes no sense here. Makes no sense! They just be staring at you on the map and I'm like, dude, I can't find your place! They text me, is everything all right? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Jenny. Jesus. <laughs> ah. I'm by myself laughing. <laughs> mm. Okay. You know, sometimes I actually be looking at myself and I have to tell myself this, you're gorgeous. <laughs> I don't tell myself that enough. For real, sometimes you have to hype yourself up. I have unnecessary insecurity. I was looking at my old high school pictures and I'm like, dang girl, you was never ugly. But I really did feel that way. I thought I was freaking nerdy and I was really skinny and scrawny looking. But the funny thing is people are like, hey, you're so pretty. And I'm thinking, oh, you're just saying that. What do you want from me? But what can I give to you when we're both in the same situation? We're both kids. Like, why was I thinking that way? Oh, poor me. Poor me. But I definitely know better now. I'll be right back. Okay, it is now dark. I had to turn on my little, um, my little light so you guys could see me. <laughs> but obviously at the end of the video, it's probably not safe to, to uh, try to record in the dark anymore. <laughs> but I just wanted to make a little video because I was, you know, driving and I was like, I never drove and recorded and, you know, I wanted you guys to just hear my commentary and guess there is no real reason for this video. I don't need a reason. I'm doing YouTube. That's the reason. But I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Um, if you guys want to want me to do something like this again and actually talk about a specific topic or, you know, multiple topics in one setting, let me know. I really enjoy just talking to myself. I talk to myself a lot. And I'm going to do it front, in front of a camera for your entertainment. So <laughs> that's the best I can do for myself. It's dark now. I'm going to end the recording. I want to listen to music. Uh, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn that notification bell so you know when I post. I appreciate those that actually support me. You know who you are. I'm extremely grateful for you. But once again, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And Yahweh willing, I will see you all in the next focus. Y'all will really, I will see you all in the next video. Shalom, love ya!